हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज ए क्लास फॉर बी ए पार्ट सेकेंड एंड वी आर डूइंग द फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ ओ टू स्काई लाग बाई पी बी शैली आई एम डॉक्टर अनिल दाधीच एंड इन द फर्स्ट टू पार्ट्स वी स्टडीड द पॉइम in detail in the beginning of the poem the poet welcomes the bird he seems to be fascinated by its melodious voice and he tries to give a vivid portrayal of nature as well as the flying of the bird in the poem actually he presents a very beautiful background to the skylark singing and its joyful singing joyful singing and this joyful singing inspires the poet to write this beautiful ode he actually he yearns he wishes to know the source of the bird's joy he compares the skylark with various images through so many similes and metaphors he compares the bird with rainbow clouds a poet hidden in his thoughts a high born maiden a lady born in a rich family aristocratic royal family then he compares the bird with a glow worm golden and then he compares the bird with a rose also and then the the melody of the bird singing is compared with the spring showers the rain of in in the spring season and ultimately he wonders he wants to know about the theme of its song uh, this is Uh, actually the romantic suggestiveness when when he wonders about the theme of its singing and he compares with human sources of joy joys like the marriage songs or the songs on the admiration of wine or victory in war and uh the nature when when the poetry is often written on nature and this kind of poetry is very very spiritual very objective and very you can say this is one of the best kind of poetry where there is no personal loss or pain so uh, what love of thy own kind what ignorance of pain actually the poet wants to know ki how can there be so much of joy in a bird's singing he must not be aware of pain he must be ignorant of human pain and ultimately the poet reaches to a conclusion that there are some hidden wants or lacking in our songs in in the human songs but the bird song he finds that it is pure it is clear and very keen in its joy keen in its joy there is no shadow of annoyance in it and he says ki he must be experiencing a love of its own kind and he does not know of the sad satiety of human love and we have done the poem up to this now we begin where we left yesterday waking or asleep thou of death must deem you must deem deem means cogitate meditate think consider you must be considering of death waking and asleep or you you do not think about death in the same manner as the human beings think actually human beings are more afraid of death they 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 are more uh, attached to life 
and they do not know the deeper truths of death perhaps that is why the poet says waking or asleep you must be considering of death and things which are more true and deep than we mortals dream we human beings are mortals we die and death is actually very horrendous to us we we are afraid of death and we mortals keep dreaming about certain things but we we are not aware of more true and deeper things the poet becomes very philosophical here and he says if the bird is able to sing such beautifully and joyfully so there must be something of a philosophical uh, knowledge that is more true and more deep than the mortals otherwise he says in the last line or how could thy notes how could thy songs flow in such a crystal stream there can be no such crystal stream stream means flow crystal clear stream of songs cannot flow without having such a deeper and truer philosophical knowledge about life and death the poet imagines and now he compares the human lot he says we look before and after before is past after is future so we look before and we look after we keep thinking about our past and we keep thinking about our future hmm? we look before and after and what do we do in our present we pine pine means yearn utkantha rakhna ichcha rakhna wish karna desires se bhara hua rehna to we pine for what is not what we have not acquired we always keep thinking about we always keep yearning or desiring what we have not achieved so we keep thinking about past we keep thinking about future and we 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 live in the present with unfulfilled desires with the awareness of unfulfilled desires and then the poet gives a very often quoted line our sincerest laughter with some pain is fraught fraught means filled our laughter a state of happiness our laughter or laughter be kaun si state ka our sincerest laughter means when we are most sincere in our happiness hum jab khush hote hain to khushi ki wo jo parakashta hai jab hum bilkul sincere hain honest hain bilkul sincerity ke sath hum hum enjoy kar rahe hain even there some pain is brought some pain is felt why because we are aware of past we are aware of the future and we are aware of this yearning for what we have not achieved so even though and when we we are aware ki we are happy in the present moment but this happiness is not lasting ye khatm ho jayegi maybe this is the point of observation which can fill us with a certain tinge of pain to kahin na kahin ye pain ki awareness hum mein hamesha rehti hai even in our sincerest laughter our sweetest songs are those that tell of saddest thoughts and this is one of the most quoted lines from shelley's poetry uh, you you should remember this line our sweetest songs are those hamare jo sabse sweet gaane hain matlab most memorable or most cherished songs jo sabse zyada cherish kiye jate hain jo sabse zyada aap 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 apne usme rakhte hain ki these are my most favorite songs they are those that tell of saddest thoughts the songs of happiness are actually passing wo aap kabhi mauke pe when you are happy tab maybe you you listen to them but hamare jo best songs hai sweetest songs hai jo jo perennial hai jinki value uh, universal hai or you can say time jisko uh, limit nahi karta aise jo songs hain they are songs with which describe which tell tell me is describe saddest thoughts 
जो जो ट्रेजिटी ट्रेजिक है दैट अट्रैक्ट्स अस मोर दैट अपील्स अस मोर सो देयर फॉर द पोइट सेज आवर स्वीटेस्ट सॉन्ग्स आर दोज दैट टेल ऑफ सैडेस्ट थॉट येट इफ यू कुड स्कोर्न हेट एंड प्राइड एंड फियर इफ वी वर थिंग इफ इफ वी कुड स्कोर्न स्कोर्न मीन्स रेपुडिएट और अवॉइड इफ वी कुड अवॉइड हेट इन आवर लाइफ हेट इज सच एन इमोशन विच मेक्स ए पर्सन वेरी वेरी नेगेटिव एंड एक्चुअली वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट जॉय actually we are talking we are trying to analyze what are the objects of the joys pure joys of this bird that he is able to sing in such a beautiful manner melodious manner so he says us pakshi ke jaisa gana kab ho sakta hai ya us pakshi ke jaisi khushi kab mil sakti hai to wo kehta hai if we could scorn hate apne jeevan mein agar hum hate element ko scorn kar sake avoid kar sake which is impossible we know we we hate certain things in life hate is one of the important or you can say unavoidable uh, inescapable emotion in life so if we could scorn hate if we could scorn pride dusra jo bahut important kya hai pride we always we are always filled with a sense of superiority or inferiority we 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 are always aware that कहीं ना कहीं किसी ना किसी से वी आर सुपीरियर तो दिस फीलिंग ऑफ सुपीरियोरिटी फीलिंग ऑफ बेटरमेंट या यू कैन से द फीलिंग ऑफ कंपैरिजन विद अदर्स इट गिव्स यू इट फील्स यू विद अ सेंस ऑफ प्राइड एंड दिस प्राइड ब्रिंग्स कंपैरिजन एंड कंपैरिजन विल ऑलवेज ब्रिंग यू ए सेंस ऑफ यू कैन से नेगेटिविटी बिकॉज जब आप किसी के सुपीरियर हैं तो समवन एल्स विल बिकम सुपीरियर विल बी सुपीरियर टू यू आल्सो एंड दैट विल बी ए रीजन फॉर योर अनहैप्पीनेस सो इफ वी कुड स्कोर हेट एंड प्राइड एंड थर्ड थिंग इज फियर ये तीन इमोशन हैं जो पोइट रिमार्क करता है अंडरलाइन करता है और वो कहता है फियर फियर इज दैट इमोशन फियर स्टॉप्स यू फ्रॉम डूइंग सो मैनी थिंग्स जीवन में बहुत कुछ आप करना चाहते हैं लेकिन फियर स्टॉप्स यू सो फियर विल नेवर अलाउ यू टू बी प्योरली जॉयस प्योरली हैप्पी अगर आपको प्योरली हैप्पी होना है तो कहीं ना कहीं यू हैव टू स्कोर यू हैव टू अवॉइड फ्रॉम योर लाइफ दीज थ्री इमोशंस द पॉइंट हैज शॉर्ट लिस्टेड हेट प्राइड एंड फियर तो इफ दीज आर देयर you cannot be purely happy he wants to say if we were things born not to shed a tear agar hum aise prani hote if we were creatures who were born not to shed a tear matlab we would never be unhappy we would never be we would never have a chance to shed tear hum ro nahi sake roe nahi aisa agar hamare jeevan mein ho to If we were things born not to shed a tear, I know not how thy joy we ever could come near. Even then, the poet says, even then it will be very difficult to imagine कि our joy could ever come near you. मतलब it would be comparable to your joy. He says, I I I have no idea कि तुम्हारे जितना खुश हम तब भी हो सकते थे क्या when we could avoid hate, pride and fear and the sadness sadness that we will never shed a, we we will never need to shed a tear in our lives now he talks about the song of the bird he says better than all meters of delightful sound meters kehte hain meters ko jo chhand hote hain poet ke wo to all the meters all the meters of delightful sound unse bhi better better than all the treasures that in books are found and all the treasures sare khazane that are found in books wisdom of men is uh, you can say treasured in books to so better than even those books your skill to poet were 
your skill to poet work so we have to read this line first and then rest of the upper lines thy skill to the poet were tumhari jo skill hai skill of singing unpremeditated pehle sochne ki zarurat nahi hai he is so happy so your skill to poet were better than all measures of delightful sound your skill to the poet poet ke liye agar kuch inspiring ho sakta hai to wo kya ho sakta hai the skill of the bird the skill of bird will be more inspirational better than all the meters of delightful sound and all the treasures that are found in books thou scorner of the ground wo kehta hai you have scorned the ground you fly in the sky that is to say he is away from this earthly existence isse upar uthna dharti ke jo bhi sukh dukh jo bhi hain unse upar uthne wale ke liye the poet has used the word scorner of the ground ग्राउंड पे जो कुछ भी है ही इज बाउंड बाई द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स तो ही इज एबल टू एस्केप दिस ही इज एबल टू स्कोर द ग्राउंड एंड देयर फॉर ही इज एबल टू सिंग इन दिस प्योर जॉयस एनवायरमेंट एंड द पोएम रीच इज टू इट्स कलमिनेशन टू इट्स क्लाइमेक्स वेन आफ्टर सो मच ऑफ एडमिरेशन टू द सॉन्ग ऑफ द बर्ड the poet ultimately makes an invocation he makes a request he urges to the bird wo bird ko urge karta hai request karta hai kya kehta hai wo kehta hai teach me o oh bird teach me half the gladness half of your happiness that thy brain must know whatever your brain knows whatever you know about life about death about everything so whatever your knowledge is because that knowledge comprises pure happiness gladness so teach me half the gladness of your brain such harmonious madness from my lips would flow the world would listen then then matlab tab agar aadhi bhi khushi the poet would be able to know then what will happen the world should listen From my lips, मेरे lips से पूरी दुनिया सुन पाएगी तब क्या Such harmonious madness, such means of same kind, same kind of harmonious madness, harmony और madness दोनों join किए गए हैं इट्स ए ब्यूटिफुल फ्रेज दैट द पोइट हैज कम्पेयर दैट कंप्राइज मैडनेस इज एक्चुअली ए स्टेट ऑफ यू कैन से एक्सटेसी दैट द पोइट वॉन्ट्स टू कम्युनिकेट so it is actually the extreme of harmony the poet says i will be able to portray a harmonious madness in my songs so such harmonious madness from my lips would flow that the world would listen then as i am listening now just as i am listening now from you o oh bird jo main abhi tumse sun raha hu waisi hi harmonious madness i can translate i can interpret i can write and the world would be able to listen to that so he says ki i am not invoking you i am not requesting you to give me half of your gladness for my own sake apne liye nahi he wants to share this harmonious madness with the world wo duniya ke sath share karna chahta hai he wants that the world should also come to know this harmonious madness and therefore he requests the bird to teach him half the madness that his brain knows that is all this is a beautiful poem students read it again and again try to find try to go in the depth of the words and the similes and the metaphors and the phrases and you will definitely like and it will remain with you for rest of your life so uh, enjoy the poem and thank you very much for listening patiently if you have any queries if you have any doubts you can call me you can whatsapp me thank you very much